brand new from AMD, we have the A10 6800K APU. This is a quad core processor, okay, built in on the same die. It has the HD 8670D. That's the Radeon graphics that it has all in one on the same processor. So this is going to bring us better performance, better entertainment, better value. We want all in one on an APU compared to having a separate processor, CPU, and a graphics card. Now, like I said, quad core has level two cache per dual core for a total of four megs, okay? Has a nice updated Radeon graphics cord 844 megahertz on that uh, core, by the way. We're going to look at that more in detail. What we're able to do with this HD 8000 series on this machine that I have is utilize the Affinity, use the existing capabilities of an MSI FM2 motherboard. So I had this previously with a 5800K, and I just took it out, upgraded the BIOS first, of course, and then put in the 6800K, and it works very nicely. Here it is detected in Windows and um, it is Windows 8 ready as well which is great. Here I am in Windows 8 and looking at the CPU Z stats you can see there the socket FM2 socket the voltage that it's running at which is quite low at 1.1 1 .1 to 1.3 depends on uh, how high your CPU is. It has a turbo value that goes all the way up to 4.4 .4 gigahertz by itself so it fluctuates and the turbo core kicks into 4.4 .4, which is terrific and um, like I said, always upgrade the BIOS to support the latest CPUs or processors and APUs in this case. The memory, terrific memory, overclocked or not, I just put it in there, enable the XMP profile for it, and it's running at 2400. Bang! So this is really a huge step for AMD to be able to support memory such as this, stable, okay? So very, very nice without having to do any overclocking. It's already accepting this brand new memory running really well. Now, looking at the GPU that's built in, the 8670D that I mentioned, 128-bit bus width on that one. It's using 768 megs, by the way, of the uh, system memory on there. And there's the GPU core clock and the memory clock, which, by the way, you can also overclock this through the BIOS, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But there it is in a nutshell, definitely um, running very cool and quiet here on full load, 100% hovers at about 50 degrees Celsius, and uh, on idle, it goes to about 35 degrees Celsius, and of course, this depends on your ambient room temperature, okay? Now, overclocking, I went in, increased the um, CPU base frequency to 103, increased the multiplier to 46, increased the CPU voltage to 1.4375, and then under the um, advanced controls, I uh, changed a few things in there as well to be able to fluctuate the voltages on demand. So here we are running it at full load with the um, liquid cooler that I've got in place. Things are running very nicely. The memory is running very smooth again uh, at these settings that I have. And, um, you know, 4.7 gigahertz is pretty darn good. Now, you know, I can't complain. I also want to show that I overclocked the GPU here to 979 megahertz on the core. So that's pretty good as well. Now, looking at 3D Mark Vantage here, we're looking at the CPU score because that's basically what this processor is. And at the processor level here, 11096, definitely higher than the 5800 and the Intel Core i3. Looking at the Firestrike benchmarks as well. You can see there, you can compare it online. PC Mark 7, again, these are the benchmarks, overall score and the productivity score if you're interested in that, and you can compare these online with other systems. The ADA64 cache and memory benchmarks definitely are really good compared to other results that I've gotten because now the memory is running at higher rates. So we're getting better bandwidth, more data is being pushed, and we're getting great latencies as well. Looking here at further CPU uh, benchmarks, starting with the CPU queen and going down all of these different types of tests, you can see here how the A10 6800K obviously does better than the A10 5800K at default with the turbo enabled 
And of course, it does much better than other previous generation CPUs as well. You can see right there and compare on this long list of different um, processors how well this one fits right in between. I would say that it compares to an Intel Core i3 um, uh, 20, uh, no, 30. 3240, which is about the same price. So if we were to compare um, this 6800K to an Intel, it would be that one because they're priced exactly the same, basically. Here we are looking now at Cinebench. Cinebench, looking at the benchmarks here at default and then overclocked. Bioshock Infinite, if you're curious about running games, well, obviously, depending on the game and depending on your graphic settings, you can get good performance out of this. I would recommend running things on low settings, but you can definitely run them in HD, no problems. And uh, as long as you don't uh, put everything on very high, then you will have smooth uh, frames per second. And um, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I mean, you're, you're getting graphics out of this and you're getting a much greater performance out of this next generation graphics. Look at these benchmarks here on this older game. It's DirectX 9, but however, look at the frames per second, really high again. And um, Aliens vs. Predator, I really put it under a lot of stress there on medium to high settings, everything enabled. Obviously, those benchmarks were a little bit lower. But then again, if you look at the Haven benchmark 4.0, the brand new one, running things on low, you're getting some pretty decent frames per second on that as well. Now, when we compare to the price, like I said earlier, the Intel Core i3, 3240, 150 bucks. This CPU, the suggested retail price, 150 bucks. Which one would you choose? It's up to you. I definitely find the graphics much stronger with this AMD APU than the Intel. And I recommend it for those of you who are looking for a mainstream PC and want to play some, you know, occasional games and so forth. I'd like to thank AMD for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.